On a cassette, the tool fitting spins. On a freewheel, the tool fitting stays in place. And that's the simplest way to differentiate between a cassette and a freewheel. This is a great tip, but only if you know what tool fitting to look for. Not to mention, why should we even care? That's all coming up in this week's Tech Tuesday. Calvin Jones here with the Park Tool Company and Tech Tuesday. Here's the problem. If I want to remove the cogs from this wheel versus this wheel, it's a different procedure. We have a cassette and a freewheel. It can be hard at times to tell the two apart. But here we have a reliable rule of thumb. Let's review it again. As we spin the cogs counterclockwise, a cassette's tool fitting will also spin. But on a freewheel, the tool fitting remains in place. Simple enough, but which tool fitting are we looking for? We're looking for the innermost tool fittings. Axles and lock nuts are not part of the cassette or freewheel. The innermost tool fitting is the fitting closest to these. This ring has multiple tool fittings, but the innermost is these 12 splines. This tool fitting does not move when we spin the sprockets, making this a freewheel system. The innermost tool fitting here has four notches. It does not move when the sprockets spin backwards, so again, we have a freewheel. Here, our innermost tool fitting is on this lock ring. As we spin the sprockets, the tool fitting spins, making this a cassette system. So now you know what you've got. And you should also know that we've got new how-to videos ready to watch to help you remove and install a freewheel or a cassette. Thanks for watching. Sometimes you hear something from someone else and you think, hey, that's clever. The spinning tip came from the video guy as he walked through our repair help scripts. So let's thank the nameless video guy by giving this video a thumbs up.